spring has just started. The ground is barely thawing, which means it's time for my number one early season garden hack to set myself up for success for all the rest of the garden season. I'm talking about pulling out the little baby weeds that you find in the garden, because when you do it at this time, as things are just starting to thaw, they're looser, you're more able to get the full root, it's more satisfying, and you're making room for the plants that you really want to grow. Let's have a look at my thyme that's down here, growing between the cracks. In the summer, this would be full and lush, and it would be really hard to distinguish what's weed from what's thyme. But right now, it's really easy to see, and the weeds are weaker, so I have more success pulling them out, which means they can't get as good a footing, and my thyme has more space for their roots to flourish as the sun warms them up. This right here would blend in if my thyme were fully in bloom, but it's waking up before the thyme, so it's really easy for me to see it, get a grip, and just pull it all the way out. Here we have this beautiful moss that I love and this beautiful little creeping thyme carpet that I love as well. But growing up, starting, are these little baby weeds that if I let them get much bigger, will start to be really difficult to pull out and I won't be able to pull them out without damaging my thyme or my moss. So if I come out now, I can just gently tease out the whole root, get the whole thing out, and it won't bother me at all anymore. I find it fairly soothing to come out and think about all the work I'm saving myself later on as I pull these out. I know some people don't like weeding, and if you're in that category, then you may find this to be a great opportunity to listen to one of your favorite gardening podcasts or an audiobook, but that is quite satisfying, don't you think? In September, these weeds were like pulling cement, and now it's not quite like pulling butter, but very easy to do with just my fingers. The one thing that I will caution you about is make sure you're not leaving bare soil anywhere. If you're leaving the ground bare, you don't have something else that's going to fill in that gap, then weed seeds will take to the air very soon and they'll fill in the gap for you. So cover any bare soil or plant something else in there that you want as soon as you can to take advantage of your weed-free landscape. So get out there and pull these little weeds now. You'll thank me and yourself later on in the season. And however your garden grows, keep growing as a gardener.